We're going to turn now to Rome and the very latest on the Pope's startling resignation yesterday, the first time in 600 years a Pope has done this. But take a look at this photo. It's going viral, madly Monday, of a bolt of lightning striking St. Peter's the same day the Pope announced that he would step down. And Benedict is set for a new name, a new home, and a new role after his unprecedented move. And ABC's Dan Harris is live in St. Peter's Square this morning with all of that. Dan, good morning to you. Elizabeth, good morning to you. Here's how the local papers are playing this huge story. This one says in Italian, of course, Pope shock. And here's a headline we can all understand in any language, amen. As Catholics all over the world absorb this truly stunning news, today we're starting to get a better sense of what may have provoked the Pope to make this announcement now. This morning, the Italian news agency ANSA reports Pope Benedict had a top secret operation to replace his pacemaker at this hospital in Rome three months ago. The Vatican won't confirm the news, but the paper says the operation, quote, went well. This morning, the Pope's older brother, a church official in Germany, held a news conference to say the decision was well thought out and nobody pushed his brother out. Meanwhile, Benedict's surprise decision has provoked Vatican intrigue worthy of a Dan Brown novel. Jockeying and politicking has already begun over who will be the 266th pope of this 2,000-year-old church, the largest religious body on earth. If I was a cardinal and I really wanted to be pope, could I actually campaign for myself? Well, I guess it, it, would, it would appear indiscreet. <laughs> It would not go over well. No, I don't, I don't think it would go over well. While there are no clear favorites, bookmakers are already laying odds, and here are three names you'll be hearing a lot. Cardinal Peter Turkson of Ghana is listed as a 9-4 to four favorite. He would be the first black pope. The time has always been there for an African pope, as we've had it before. Canadian Cardinal Mark Ouellette, a 5-2 to two favorite. And perhaps most formidably, Archbishop Angelo Scola of Milan, who has a strong Italian power base. Sometime this March, roughly 120 cardinals will gather under heavy security and beneath a cloak of secrecy for the conclave to choose a new pope inside the Sistine Chapel. Every time they vote, they burn the ballots. Black smoke means no pope yet. White smoke, a winner. This is not like voting for a president where you're voting for the guy who will lower your taxes. Precisely. You know, I want to vote as God for, for the man God wants. That, that's a very scary thing. Scary indeed. I've got one more picture I want to show you this morning. This is the building where Pope Benedict will live once he officially steps down. That's on February 28th at exactly 8 p.m. This is a former monastery inside Vatican City for months. Construction crews have been rehabbing this building, and during that entire time, only a few top Vatican officials actually knew that this would ultimately become the Pope's retirement home.